Just over 100 years ago, Australia's Antarctic adventure began. A man named Douglas Mawson carved his character across the nation's consciousness, leading the Australasian Antarctic expedition of 1911-14, battling the non-believers, ice, blizzards, and bitter cold. Mawson survived through luck and sheer Aussie bloody-mindedness. These tiny peaks, like living creatures, smothered by the snow and desperate for oxygen, a reminder of 18 magnificent men and two torturous years. Today, the story of Mawson and his huts takes a leap into the 21st century. Antarctica, a canvas as spectacular as it is majestic. Both bitter and charming. And as Morsa discovered, alluring and deadly. Gathering on the dock in Hobart on December 2nd, 1911, was a group of 31 young scientists and adventurers. Included in the team were Belgrave Ninnis and Xavier Mertz, Mawson's dog handlers. Tragically, they were to be the only casualties of the expedition. Also on board was Australia's greatest wartime photographer, Frank Hurley. He was there despite his mother's pleas to Mawson. I tell you, in all fairness to himself, he is not strong enough. He has never roughed it. I don't think he would come back. Put him right out of your mind. Hurley's footage and the role he played in Mawson's survival is extraordinary. The Aurora made its way through the Southern Ocean, battling for a break in the ice, scouring the ice for a sheltered bay. Hurley narrated this footage just before he passed away in 1962. We headed up to the shore, which proved to be an ideal location, and named the place Cape Denison, and the great bay about it, Commonwealth Bay. In just 15 days, with not a builder among them, the men had erected the first hut, home for the next two years. Inside, just 60 square metres. Outside, 350 kilometre an hour blizzards. Mawson survival, a gripping tale of fortune and fortitude. And this priceless slice of our heritage also stood firm. But the onslaught of a hostile environment would eventually take its toll. Visitors to the huts throughout the 1960s and early 70s saw further decline and warned that without intervention, the huts would surely be lost. Conservation finally began in earnest in 1997-98 with the arrival of the first expedition mounted by the Mawson's Huts Foundation. And more people have climbed Everest than have set foot in Mawson's Huts. Mawson has left an incredible legacy, a territorial claim to 42% of the Antarctic continent and to the Australian Antarctic Division, which operates three scientific and research bases on the continent and one on Macquarie Island. Mawson's huts are of international and national heritage significance, rare in a world context as just one of six complexes surviving from the heroic era of Antarctic exploration, a period of great human adventure, exploration, research and discovery on the last continent to be explored. Since the summer of 1997-98, the Foundation's cameras have captured the work of the Foundation and its continuing conservation of this national treasure. Expeditions are expensive, and to help raise funds for these, the Foundation has built a full-scale replica of Mawson's huts on the Hobart waterfront, just 200 metres from where Mawson's expedition departed. It's built from Baltic pine timbers, sourced from the same region in Finland as the original material and is exactly the same dimensions and sourced from the same Melbourne merchant that supplied Mawson. Heritage carpenters who have worked at Cape Denison have referenced from hundreds of photographs and measurements to replicate as close as possible every detail both inside and out. Now one of Hobart's leading tourist attractions, the Mawson's Huts Replica Museum is helping to raise funds for the conservation of the historic site at Cape Denison. With each expedition costing around half a million dollars and with ongoing conservation and maintenance work essential to continue, 
More funds are still required. Sir Douglas Mawson was a true Australian visionary and pioneer. He was a leader, scientist and explorer, and he contributed so much to our nation's Antarctic history. Today, Australia's work in Antarctica reflects the enduring spirit of Mawson and his team. That's why it's so important to honour and preserve all we can of Mawson's historic Antarctic expedition. Organisations such as the Mawson's Huts Foundation and the Mawson's Huts Replica Museum are ensuring the legacy of Douglas Mawson can be understood and appreciated by future generations.